for another day at ace speed. As you're all probably aware, I'm really fond of bespoke artwork. And why I like that sort of artwork is it really brings racing and motoring to life. A photograph's all well and good and there's some great photographers out there, but people like Bex with her unique style really bring motorsport to life. And I have actually bought quite a few pieces of artwork from Bex and they're around my house, they're around this workshop. And she's actually brought our latest piece into teasers with today. She's also brought in some of her latest special editions, some of the new Cooper 60 work, which we're going to show you through the through the filming. So Bex, when you came last time, you you got to drive a classic Mini, and you're going to get to have a go in the little Cooper Sprint over there, which is a Neville Trickett oh. Sprint. So Bex, do you want to tell Brilliant. us a little bit about what you're up to? Yes, of course. So of course, Andy is a great collector of artwork, really bespoke pieces. And this one here is actually celebrating the 25th anniversary of Ace Beast. 25, 25 years! <laughs> yeah! So this artwork here has actually got nine minis within it. We have a long way to go, a huge amount of work, but I am sure that when it's complete it's going to look absolutely ace. And I've driven all these minis. This is where mm -hmm. the idea came from. So Bex did a really good print of me at Goodwood where it had me and two really good racing customers all involved in the photograph. And I came up with this idea while I was looking through a scrapbook of involving every single Mini that I've raced in one shot. Mm. And Beck says, pick somewhere that you think you'd like to race, where you'd like it all to be shown. So we spoke about that between ourselves. And she's just telling me today how she's going to incorporate all the things we want. This is a really early stage tease and it's the first time I've seen it. So I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely over the moon with it, including our orange helmet, which was the Wizzo helmet. Yeah, I'm really excited about it and I think especially because of seeing the design of having all of Andy's nine minis within it, I just know this artwork's really going to pop. It's going to look amazing. So what's these here though? Are you going to come around and show some something about these teaser. here? This is a real So Andy's already touched on the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the Mini Cooper and these artworks here are a bit of a teaser. They're the original artworks that are part of this anniversary print which is yet to launch. Really exciting and it's been created with Mini Legends of the 60s. Are you getting that though? 60 years of the Mini Cooper. Not 60 years of the Mini, actually the Cooper name involved with the Mini. So like Bex, here at ASV we're really good friends with the Cooper family. So all this is falling into place with the 60th anniversary of the Mini Cooper. And I know there's some big events in line for next year mm. which we've already been invited to. So I'm extremely excited about this and I'm extremely excited about the artwork. Yeah, it's really exciting and I really am looking forward to a big 2021 to celebrate the Mini Cooper. So what's this? Well, that's something very special. It's actually your personal artwork. Number nine of only 60 limited prints that are available. Number nine of 60? Yep, yeah, that is Andy's collected number. Now this is what I like with Bex and how she presents stuff. Everything comes with little, little trinkets. Her own artwork, I love the 9 of 60, she asked me for a number and num number 9 is pretty special to me. So we're going to open this print now, this painting I should say, I get into trouble for saying print, <laughs> this painting, this artwork, and we're going to open it. Okay. So I've just done the sticker, so what we're going to do is if you hold that side, what? we'll carefully, oh wow, that. that looks a bit like your colouring as well with the, uh, the tissue paper inside protecting it. Exactly. So, so it's nice to we'll take that away. Of, wow. Look at that. Now look at that, folks. That's incredible. Look at some of the signatures on there. Mm. Now somebody very special to the company. Brian Culture is named there. Paul Easter, the navigator. John Rhodes. I mean, I'm constantly in contact with Tim Rhodes, his son. I'm always finding out how he's doing. I mean, we're talking 90 years old yeah. now. Rowan Walton, who shared a car with us. We've also got Bex here, look. It's signed. <laughs> exactly. Nine of 60. All signed. This is something really special, and the fact that all four of these mini legends that have been part of this artwork are all, like you said, in their 80s, in their 90s, but the stories they can tell about racing the mini, it's incredible. I am proud to have been privileged to be a member of the BMC Mini Works team, one of the three musketeers, and I was called the Flying Finn. One of the highlights in my mini career was a Monte Carlo victory in 1967. Paul is the co-driver to Timo Mackinnon for many years. 
Every event with Timo was a highlight, particularly the two Montes of 65 and 66, coping with the blizzard when he totally dominated the event. Oh, from the front. And a twinkle in their eyes still. Of course. That's amazing. So that's 60 years of the Mini Cooper, and what better way to celebrate it than with some of Bex's artwork. So here we are in a 1966 Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper converted by Neville Trickett back in period into a sprint. So if you notice when we're driving it, we've got no headroom, even a short nothing. person like me, nothing at all. So how are you managing? <laughs> yeah, literally, it's, uh, there's hardly any room for our head, but I've got to say, it is quite comfortable. It's comfortable and it drives lovely. Yeah. We're yeah. on hydroelastic, so it's given us that compliance in ride. Mm. Yeah. It's all de-seamed. They were converted in period, they got rid of the seams to get rid of the drag coefficient and to make them competitive in racing and hill climbing. There's a chap now called Paul Wigginton who runs a really successful uh, coachwork company who's making these again and he's doing a tremendous job of it. Because when you think that you chop a minute, everybody thinks it's really easy to do. But there's a lot of work involved, because not only do they chop this area, you've also got to chop the lower body to keep the proportions of a mini right. So when people first see it, and I think you said it when you come, it actually yeah. looks like it's been stretched. It yeah. looks like somebody's got hold of it and pulled it out. Mm. But you drove it, what did you think to driving it? I really enjoyed it actually. It's very different to the Mini Cooper we drove last time. That were a Cooper Works Cooper stuff again, Work, so that yes. were a 2000 spec Cooper Works. Yeah. Fuel injected, so no choke to worry about, the brakes were a lot better. Yeah. Whereas this is the essence of early Mini. Mm. I think um, the, the biggest thing that I notice is, because it is so much shorter, um, is the fact that the your, your visibility, of course, is much less. I can't believe I'm looking at the sun visor. Yeah, I'm and if I'm just looking at the sun visor, I'm pretty much looking at the roof. It's, uh, it's, it's very different, but I, we can get used to it. But um, of course, everything just feels a little bit more... Squashed. Yes, sports car -y as well. You know, when you, you're quite low to the ground, it feels like we're even lower. Yeah, I get that. You know? But I think this drives fabulous for a 54 really year old car. Yeah. And then into 55 years coming up. Mm. So I drive a lot of old cars that are 20, 30 years old and feel ancient. I actually could, apart from the headroom, I could drive this car daily. Yeah. It's easy to drive, uh, yeah. it's disc brakes, uh, easy gear change, big wooden steering wheel so you get plenty of grip. Oh, that, that is something I love. Yeah, I it's, love it's fabulous. that big wooden steering wheel, it's really cool. And it's easy Although to it steer. Got on my knees, but it is great. And it doesn't get on mine. And look on your knees. These little things here. <laughs> so no, I'm knee steering. To sort of tie in with the 60 years of all the artwork you're doing, mm. what do you reckon to a 60-year-old Mini Cooper then? Well, um, you know what I find fascinating, absolutely fascinating, is within the artwork that I've done to capture the sixth anniversary of the Mini Cooper, I have captured um various racing drivers from that period yeah and those people will have raced actually raced and rallied yes this kind of car this mini cooper the age bit and i mean i'm loving driving it like this but that is one hell of a task you take your hat off to them to have raced and rallied them at the speed they did Really? I see pictures, so obviously really? I, come, I, I do rallying, but I come from a racing background and you see people like John Rhodes with that tyre all exactly. lit up and, and, he, he, and I talk to John Smoking quite a bit and I say, so what would like to race? He says, well, you just arrive at a corner, throw the steering and let the slide slow it down. Well, I definitely use brakes when I'm racing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely do use them and uh, whether I'm ashamed to admit it or not, <laughs> I take my hat off to him. You yeah, know, these yeah, people. It's smoking rose, wasn't it? And don't smoking forget rose. that people of my period have watched people of their period. Mm. So I now realise that these cars can do that. Yeah. But when they first did it, they didn't know that. Yeah. Do you understand what? It's like walking on the moon. When somebody first went to the moon. Yeah. We didn't know you could do it. Well, yeah. when John Rhodes entered his first sharp bend. Did he know that when he slung the steering on and it was sliding? Your and heart the tire, must be literally in your mouth. Is it going to go is, around? Yeah. Is, it gonna, is that tyre going to last? Are the brakes going to last? You yeah, know, just, yeah. I take me out off to him. So, and Paddy Opkirk and oh, Round Walton and Brian Colchester, when they were rallying, 
And these people were going in minis and spending four or five days without sleeping. I know. You talk about the Monte Carlo Valley. That was days and days. Yeah. Days. If I took this to the sandwich shop that's a mile down the road, I'm tired. <laughs> no. So that'll tell you. you oh, know. It, it's uh, it's tiring on the arms. It is. I think that's amazing. You know, when we talk about like Rano Alton and those kind of um, drivers from the era, I don't want us to ever forget Timo Mackinnon. Yeah, Timo Mackinnon. Because yeah. of course he was the original flying fin. Yes, he and was. And I've seen, I would, with one of those rally drivers that I wish, I wish I was able to have met. Well, I was fortunate I met him. He did. Uh, did you? I think it was 1990, but I might be wrong on the year. They did the Charrington's historic rally that started in Bath. Mm. And I had at the time a Mini Cooper that had just been relaunched when John Cooper decided, and, and Rover in the Wisdom, decided yeah. the Mini Cooper could be relaunched. And they did a thousand RSPs. Right. And I picked it up at the dealer. I ran it a weekend. And the following week, I went down to Bath to watch the Charrington's Rally and I, tre I treasure a photograph of me with Timo Mackin and him signing my programme when I was young and impressionable. Oh. So that was 1990, <laughs> 30 you know, years ago. I never ago. knew that. Yeah, yeah. I never knew. Uh, then Timo's I've been a hero of mine. At Timo, a hero, Rauno's mine and I was yes. really fortunate to get to share a car with him at Goodwood. A great man, isn't he? There was Wizzo who won the first yeah, yeah. international rally in a Cooper S, so I, I was a teammate of his. Brian Kulcheth, who took me up Paul Hill in Wizzo's car. Yeah, Another fabulous, yeah. underrated driver, I've got to say. I've got to tell you a story as well, guys. With Ace, I actually went to see Brian Kulcheth with this specific artwork, and he showed me all these pictures and this massive um, kind of collection. And you won't believe it, one of the first photos he showed wasn't of his actual driving career, it was of him <laughs> and me. Oh yeah, such a great guy. He's like, oh, he's a fantastic guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're it, actually talking about Ace. So he came uh, to the rally bath, and it was it was the tribute to Wizard. And Brian Kulcheff came up, chatted, and said, "Oh, I, I hold the, the I held the record of the stage up Paul Hill for forever." Wow. So I, I had this idea. I went to Tim Nash, who was running the event, and I says, "How about getting Brian to take me over Paul Hill in a minute?" Bear in mind, Brian Colchester will be 80 years old. Yeah. He never once a worried me, but b we weren't hanging about. No, I bet we not. Was. <laughs> and we came to some really sharp lefts, and I've got to say, I'm in the passenger seat thinking, oh, we're going to ease up, we're going to ease up. Uh huh. Oh, we're not easing up. No. <laughs> it was incredible. It's one of those. In the hands of a professional, eh? An, an absolute star, yeah. uh, you know, and an honour to meet him. You know, you, you, I used to see these people. I used to go watch him, and mm. you. You used to see these people and think, oh God, I wish I could do it. And now they're friends. Yeah. You know. They're it, great, great people. They really are. <laughs>